Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make my delicious broccoli and cheese rice skillet from scratch. Now, it's made with three different types of cheese. It has plenty of broccoli. It has a little rice in it. It's a wonderful casserole dish filling. This recipe calls for about eight to 10 servings. It's absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your broccoli and cheese rice skillet. Let's get started with our ingredients. You're gonna need two large heads of broccoli and that's about one pound and five ounces in weight total. And along with that, you're gonna need some extra sharp cheddar cheese, about one pound of that. And you'll also need some Romano cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese, evaporated milk, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, salted butter, and some day old cooked long grain rice, meaning that this rice was cooked the day before. And along with that for your seasonings, you'll need some salt, black pepper, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. You'll also need some Chef Paul Pudhomme's Vegetable Magic, onion powder, garlic powder, and some ground turmeric. And for your tools, you'll need a cheese shredder and a 10 inch round cast iron skillet. You can also use a small casserole dish if you like. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by rinsing off our two heads of broccoli. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the stem. I mostly want to use the broccoli florets. I'm gonna just take those and just remove those off. Now I'm gonna chop the uh, stem portion off. And from there, I'm gonna just separate the broccoli florets. All right, here I have a cheese shredder. And I'm going to just shred one pound of the extra sharp cheddar cheese. I kind of cut the blocks in half and I'm going to just shred them one half at a time. All right, and there we go. All right, here I have five ounces of Romano cheese and I'm going to just go ahead and shred that. Now I'm going to shred about two ounces of this Romano cheese. And there we go. Preheat your fire to medium heat. All right, let's get started with parboiling our broccoli. So in this medium sized pot, I have one and one half quarts of simmering water. And to that, I'm gonna sprinkle about two teaspoons of salt. And along with that, I'm gonna add my broccoli florets. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick stir. Now we want to just parboil the broccoli. We don't wanna cook it thoroughly. Okay, we just want to parboil it until it's almost done. All right, that looks good. And you're going to let this simmer for about two to three minutes. All right, it's been about two to three minutes now. And our broccoli should be parboiled, ready to go. Turn your fire off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little mesh strainer, scoop thing. I'm just going to scoop the broccoli right out of here. Wait a couple of seconds to let some of the water drain. And from there, you're gonna place it into this medium sized bowl. And there we go. Preach your fire to medium low heat. All right, now let's get started with our cheese sauce. So in this medium sized pot, I'm gonna add one and one half cups of evaporated milk, one third cup of heavy whipping cream, Two to three tablespoons of sour cream. It's gonna bring out that nice cheddar cheese flavor. And now for our seasonings, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning, a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Quidome's Vegetable Magic, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of ground turmeric. Now that's gonna enhance the color and the flavor of the overall dish. Now I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Well, 
right next I'm gonna add my shredded extra sharp cheddar cheese this is about 16 ounces one pound going in and to that I'm gonna add two ounces in weight of the shredded Romano cheese right on in there and one ounce of the shredded Parmesan cheese right on in there now I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm just gonna give this a quick stir now I'm going to stir this continuously until that cheese has melted into the milk mixture like how you see here. Now as you can see the cheese has melted into the milk mixture and that took no more than seven minutes on medium low heat. All right next up I'm going to go ahead and add my broccoli pieces and to that I'm going to add four tablespoons of melted salted butter. I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to stir this until combined. Now make sure you taste your cheese sauce to make sure it set your desired taste. And if not, you can add a little bit more seasoning. Now at this time, you're going to turn your fire down to the lowest setting on your stove. And from there, just come back and stir it every two minutes if you're not adding the rice right away. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and add my cooked rice. Now I've added about 20 ounces in weight of cooked rice in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick stir. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and place my cast iron skillet into my oven. And I'm going to let this get hot for about 6 to 8 minutes. Alright it's been about 6 to 8 minutes now. And I'm going to go ahead and remove my cast iron skillet out of the oven. Alright, next I'm going to take some salted butter and I'm just going to spread that around the skillet. Around the bottom and the sides of the skillet. Like so. And I'm going to add my broccoli and cheese mixture. Just going to add that right on in there. And I'm going to just spread that around. Set your oven broiler to high. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this into my oven broiler. Now you're going to let this sit in here for about 3 to 4 minutes. Alright, it's been about 3 to 4 minutes now. And we're going to go ahead and remove our cast iron skillet from the broiler part of our oven. And you're going to let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before serving. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Broccoli and cheese rice skillet made by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. Now, I have an official website for all of my recipes, including for this delicious cheesy broccoli and cheese rice skillet. You can go to www.charliecookandrews.com. You could also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. This is really good. It has a wonderful cheese flavor. The taste of broccoli is well seasoned. Overall, it's an absolutely fantastic and delicious comfort food dish. I mean, it is really good. So, give the recipe a try. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace.